Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So salsa, this add-on, it's not available. It looks fully baked. Yeah, we have like a thousand people using it every day internally. So we have and we're But how long has it been the reason fully we developed? We did this last year for TechFest, so the reason that we haven't just um, released it on the web is a lot of what's cool about it is it integrates in with like, uh, however your company sets up their internal sharing, right? So for example, we have SharePoint, right. and it can query all the documents and things that you're sharing in email. It's hard for other people to deploy it. So we have worked with some other companies and just given them the source to check it out and try it out in their company. Um, well, I've only heard about software like that, at least that integrates with Outlook. Itself. But is it only just data that would be tied to Microsoft services, or could you pull in? Uh, well, you can see here that I'm pulling in like RSS feeds. Oh, those are RSS feeds. So we pull in. So what's kind of cool is it's really kind of um, it's very simple. So whatever RSS feeds you subscribe to, it does a query on your name and then um, shows you any RSS items that are from that person. So if I subscribe to my Facebook feed or my Twitter feed or my LinkedIn feed, it just uses your name and. It'll, it'll it just automatically figure yeah, it out. Or if, you, if you mention somebody else and you're going to feed, it'll just show up. Huh. So now th that's what you said you did last year, and we still haven't seen it. Well, what did you do this year? Don't punch me. <laughs> well, so what we're doing this year, so what we did here is we wanted to do something that was super easy to deploy within the company to understand how people will use it. Okay. And then the next thing we thought is, well, actually what we really want to do, we did a project a long time ago just completely redesigning email because we believe that email was designed for um, reading and seeing a lot less information than people um, have to deal with today. So we thought, let's really do a lot deeper thing and just rethink email altogether. So we still have these concepts. I email? like that. I like that concept a lot. I really do. Which one? This one? No, well, I haven't seen the one behind it. I'm talking about the one that you did last year. Yeah, so this is really cool. We also had this available in your inbox, and we found for a lot of people it was just a little too much noise. Really? So it seemed like, and it just depends. Like, some people turn it off, some people turn it on, but some people don't like it, some people do like it, because you just have a lot of pain. They're probably, yeah, a lot of pain, like P-A-N-E-S or P-A-I-N-S? Pain, P-A-N-E-S. Okay, yes. As it were. The UI didn't work. So we thought, how can we get this information in? Is there a better way that we can deal with all the windowing and different windows that you have? So that's kind of why we've done this other thing. All right, so. Do you want me to show you this one? Yeah, please. Is there a name for it? Like, a, is it still under the same beta title? Like, the um, name for this? We called it something kind of boring, which is Social Views and Email. It doesn't really have a... Wow, that's very a Microsoft of you. I know. I like Salsa. Can salsa. We, can we call it... Uh, you can call it Salsa. Ooh, guacamole. Sure. All right. Guacamole. Um, so what this does is we did this project a long time ago called the Personal Map. Okay. And what the Personal Map does is it looks at your inbox and it looks at who's important by people you email frequently and it clusters people based on who you email together. So we basically created these little groups and you can kind of adjust them and tweak them if you don't like them. And you're reading uh, from an Outlook file right now or the Outlook data store? Yeah, so this is actually just a... An overlay, a view, an overlay, a skin for Outlook. Right. Social skin for Outlook. And then what we do with each one of these groups is you can name them, and we create a little summary for you of what's going on for each one of your projects. So these tend to relate to projects and things that you're working on, but wow. you haven't had to organize it at all. Wow. It's pretty cool. So, um... Why aren't you shipping this stuff? I mean, I just, like... This drives me insane. That's so cool. So then what happens in your inbox is, first of all, we know who's important to you. So anybody that's important, we kind of um, show the message bigger. And anybody that's not important, we uh, uh, they don't even have an avatar. They minimize, right? So we just kind of want to get the stuff that you probably don't need to read out of your way. And then you can see mails get categorized for you as they come in. So you could tweak it or you could just kind of leave it. And that means that these mails are getting put into these buckets. Okay, so the idea of moving to a folder is kind of outdated. We just feel like people have a lot of folders on the side that either have, that are no longer relevant to them and it's just a lot of work. Right. So this is kind of like, you use tags and categories, they kind of form for you automatically and as these become inactive, they kind of drop down into what we're calling the closet. But you can imagine these being tags or categories or really anything. So then if you, you would have like a family bucket or a work bucket. Yeah, so he's got like his friend's bucket. 
Um, these are projects that we're working. This is like our team and um, the projects. So if you go into a particular project, um, what we've done is you show. Actually, we expand out a little bit, so we show mail that you've sent and received, and then we also start layering in other stuff. Okay. So like this can be stuff. Um, oh, or that, would that be like the uh, like the RSS feed items or documents? Yeah, for some reason he doesn't have very many RSS feeds, but you would see other things, or maybe he just doesn't have it working in this build. But what you would see is basically this feed for your group, right? Sure, sure. So it's we thought that when you're in your in your group space, you don't just want to reduce stuff, but you also want to share stuff to those people. Right. So we want to share stuff, and then what we haven't built yet, but we want to build is this little summary. So we think that, yeah, so it's kind of like, uh, this is how much time you're spending in email, because we believe <laughs> Too much. That, that, that changing email behavior is, uh, are your own personal work habits as much as changing the UI, right? So if you send less email, you get less email, you don't need to be like getting to zero inbox anymore and things like that. So we try to just summarize it for you, and you can imagine a lot more intelligence here. Like, yeah, Well, I, I see a lot more intelligence than I normally see in an inbox. Yeah, so this isn't, none of this is working, but it's like you could imagine like us going through the links that people have sent you and saying, oh, hey, yeah. like here's a bunch of links that you probably want to read that you didn't read as email was coming in, but you might want kind of this. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah. You know I'm a software junkie. I know. Yeah, I got my fix now. <laughs> now, now all I need is, see, and, and I know in this particular booth, I mean, you're obviously demonstrating on this particular computer these, these projects, but this booth is like, they've also got social desktop stuff, but I see that there's some stuff that's running on a Mac over there behind... Why is it running on a Mac? Well, the reason we're trying to do with the social desktop is, um, I mean, basically we live sort of, or at least for a lot of us, we really live on the web and we're sharing all the stuff on the web and we want to take the sharing model of the web and really just embed it into the desktop. But um, what we want to just support too is that if I want to share something with you and you have a Mac, to do, like you don't need PowerPoint in order to just view my files. Right. So what we've done is for all your files, we make a backing, a URL for every file that you share that has a preview on the web. And so I can just send you like that URL and you can just see the file and comment on it. On any browser. Well, any modern browser. Any, well, we're using Silverlight, so you need Silverlight. Oh, sure. That's it. But basically any web browser. So with the Mac, we just want to show that like, you don't want to, you want to share with whoever you want to share with. You don't care about like what computer they're using or what web browser they're using. And so you should just be able to view and share things a lot more. And, and that's what social is all about. That's not antisocial. Thank you, Lily.